code okay select let's do now 9600 baud we put switch 1 as 1 and switch 2 as 1 so we set both pins okay step step it takes us to select 1 which is the 4800 it detects if both both um switches satisfy and it's not gonna satisfy and it's gonna take us to select 3 which gives us the 9600 baud rate so it compares detects okay both when both requirements are satisfied it takes the value of 3 and stores it in the B accumulator okay now we have B in the we have B as with a value of 3 and it also is gonna take negative 3 and store it in TH1 TH1 now is FD which is the same as negative 3 decimal but in hex which corresponds to the 9600 okay finish with the bot code B code subroutine that enable us to select a baud rate we move on to a config subroutine which starts at 300 hex alright so we're gonna do this the first thing is to configure the serial port to mode 1 we do this by doing 50 hex okay so now we let's con there's 50 okay next we configure the two timers time 0 for mode 1 and timer 1 for mode we do this by moving 21 hex into T mod register okay let's see it alright so let's get our two timers configured so number zero configure for mode one timer one configure for mode two this is gonna be used to for your communication for the serial port so this is sacrificed but we still have this one left okay next we configure the interrupt the enable Alright, we enable the timer zero interrupt. We do this by setting EA and ET zero bits that's found in the IE register for interrupts. Okay, let's see the pin. Okay, now let's look at the interrupt window. So we see the timer zero interrupt is now enabled. Also, the EA also has to be enabled for any interrupt to work properly alright then we start the timers okay so both timers are running okay And we move forward to our next routine, which is SA. Okay, so now we're doing S display subroutine. It's the serial display, and it starts at 400 hex. Okay. So this routine is going to display the message. Serial bot is whatever BPS on the serial port. 
whatever um baud rate we chose in the beginning is what's going to be displayed here and we are to use polling on the ti flag okay so initially we used we chose the 9600 baud so we're gonna see this displayed in the UART window number one okay let's run it let's run this program okay so our message serial bot is ever is transmitted to Okay, so now I'm going to demonstrate how the interrupt works. Alright, so the number zero interrupt will go to the ISR and execute this. When timer zero reach overflow. So let's let's see how it works so for example um it's gonna take a long time to reach that so let's just advance it let's put ff fc let's let's just see how the interrupt works okay so now we're over here okay and the timer is running timer is running normally going through the subroutines going through the S display right now but when I hit step once more the interrupt is gonna occur And it's going to take us to the address for the timer zero interrupt. Alright, so this is the interrupt zero 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 beach. And it's going to do this. It interrupted the program for it to do this. So the overflow flag is set is gonna jump to the ISR for the interrupt which is timer 0 H okay it's gonna jump all the way down all right it's gonna clear the overflow flag and then it's going to execute this code instead of the normal program that we were at. So, for this one, we need, we're using point port 3 to see a time delay. So, port 2 is an input, you can put any value you want. And this is just mines. So now we're going to clear port 3 to make it an output. Okay. So it starts off with 0. By the time the delay is done, which is when TF0 is flagged, it's going to update the port 3. So for example ff to make it faster 
it's gonna take a long time otherwise okay and when it overflows when TF0 is flagged P3 is updated by what you put in P2 now we see port 3 is updated after a long time delay Timers are stopped and the f overflow flag is cleared. RETI ends the ISR and returns back to the instructions before the interruption. So here is where we left off. And it continues as so.